MidQuest. What are the most interesting domino effects in history? Star Trek Voyager was not as well received as previous Star Trek series. In 1997, producers decided to add a new character in an attempt to boost ratings. Actress Jerry Ryan was brought in to play Seven of Nine. Jerry's frequent separations from her husband, Jack Ryan, due to her acting schedule contributed to their decision to divorce in 1999. In 2004, Jack Ryan became the Republican nominee for an open Senate seat in Illinois. During the campaign, the proceedings from Ryan's divorce became public, and contained details of his sex life that did not make him look good. The scandal forced Ryan to drop out of the Senate race in July, leaving the GOP time to only find token opposition to Democratic nominee Barack Obama. Obama's landslide victory in the Senate race helped launch him onto the national stage allowing him to pull off an upset victory in the 2008 Democratic primary and win the presidential election. TLDR The lackluster writing of Star Trek Voyager helped pave the way for the Obama presidency. George Lucas really wanted to make a Howard the Duck movie, and after Rog, he had the pull to do it. But, Howard the Duck lost George Lucas so much money that he had to sell the animation part of Lucasfilm. He sold it to Steve Jobs, and it later became Pixar. Genghis Khan's son being an alcoholic saved Europe. A kid failed the entrance exam to an art school and now hente is real. When Margaret Beaufort was a baby, the king promised her father she could inherit her father's wealth if he would fight in an upcoming battle if something happened to him. He fought and was taken prisoner and died. Margaret got that fortune and was determined it would pass through her lineage. A few decades later King Richard passed a new law that said a woman's wealth passed to her husband, not her descendant. Margaret was by this time on her third husband, and had an only son by a previous marriage, and the thought of her husband inheriting her father's legacy instead of her son pissed Margaret off. Margaret was a lady in waiting and that gave her access to a lot of information. She started conspiring with Elizabeth Woodville mother to the princes in the tower. They conspired to overthrow the king, making a deal that Margaret's son and Elizabeth's daughter would marry. They gathered support, passed on secrets and that led to Margaret's son, Owen Tudor killing King Richard and establishing the Tudor dynasty and the British monarchy eventually being stable enough that they focused on other things like exploration. TLER an unusual bargain for a woman to inherit led to Britain becoming a world power. Franz Ferdinand's driver taking a wrong turn triggered WW1 and essentially everything after it. From Wikipedia, this is probably my favorite that escalated quickly in 1980 AD. Flavius Josephus recorded the first known incident of mooning. Josephus recorded that in the procuratorship of Vintidius Cuminus, 48 1952 AD. At around the beginning of the First Roman-Jewish War, a soldier in the Roman army mooned Jewish pilgrims at the Jewish temple in Jerusalem who had gathered for Passover, and spake such words as you might expect upon such a posture causing a riot in which youths threw stones at the soldiers, who then called in reinforcements the pilgrims panicked, and the ensuing stampede resulted in the death of 10,000 Jews. Some teenager went the wrong way on an assassination and then 6 million Jews died. We're still fighting over events that can be traced back to the assassination of Franz Ferdinand. Ignoring the fact that it wasn't WWR until we had the second one. There was the Cold War, Korea and Vietnam, and the Israel-Palestine debate to name a few. WWI Domino's pressuring drivers to deliver pizza in 30 minutes or less led to drivers crashing and them suing Domino's which then removed the 30 minutes or less tag. Creating TikTok after anti-vax moms who were saying that vaccines cause autism. The Buffalo Bills are responsible for the fame of the Kardashians. Edit changed OJ to Buffalo Bills. A reduced honeybee population creates a domino effect in the food chain. Alfalfa, a crop that is pollinated by honeybees, plays a crucial role in keeping our environment healthy. 
Researchers have claimed that the extinction of just one animal has the potential to create a domino effect that could result in the extinction of many more species. Because alfalfa is the main food source for dairy cows and a secondary food source for beef cows, sheep and horses, the decline of alfalfa yield could be a devastating blow to the dairy and beef industries. Without enough alfalfa to feed livestock, they could become endangered or even extinct. Cinco de Mayo from Wiki The Battle of Puebla was significant, both nationally and internationally, for several reasons. First, although considerably outnumbered, the Mexicans defeated a better equipped French army. This battle was significant in that the 4,000 Mexican soldiers were greatly outnumbered by the well-equipped French army of 8,000 that had not been defeated for almost 50 years, 25. 26. Note 3. Second, since the Battle of Puebla, some have argued that no country in the Americas has subsequently been invaded by any other European military force. 27. Note 4. Historian Justo Sierra has written in his Political Evolution of the Mexican People that, had Mexico not defeated the French in Puebla on the 5th of May, 1862, France would have gone to the aid of the Confederate States of America in the American Civil War and the United States destiny would have been different. 28. 29. In 1914, Gavrilo Princip shot the Archduke Franz Ferdinand. You can draw a straight line from that event to literally everything in the modern world. Edit and I can prove it. G head, Jim something. Have you ever heard the theory that everything is a chain reaction? Essentially the idea is that everything you or anyone says does, they say do because of their experiences, which were gained through past events, and of people who had other chain reactions. In other words, you're reading this right now because something changes in your day making you think you're free to use it, and you got that free time because someone cancelled their plans, and they cancelled because etc etc. I'm not sure how true it is, but it's kind of off-putting to think that your free will is literally just your reaction to a massive chain of events, and whatever you choose was always going to be your choice. The former US President Nixon abolishing the gold standard. Bad move, dick. Kid gets pushed out of a window, more than becomes king of a nation, s. Jesus not paying his Roman mandated religion tax. Remember the Romans didn't care what religion you followed as long as you paid your religion tax. The entire faith is built on the foundation of a guy fleeing the IRS of his time. Vietnam War The spawn of collateralized debt obligations in the finance sector. I would say WW1 to WW2 to the development of the world we know. During the First World War, in an attempt to destabilize the collapsing Russian Empire, the German Empire allowed safe passage for known revolutionary Vladimir Lenin from his refuge in Switzerland to the Finland Station in St. Petersburg. Roughly 30 years later, Nazi Germany would be beaten into the ground by the armies of the Soviet Union, the nation Lenin had successfully formed before his death. Germans done goofed. When the Ottomans were conquering Europe, there was an entire other front they they were fighting as well Iran, more precisely Iran and Turkey fought over Iraq. Iraq changed hands multiple times, and more than once, Ottomans were forced to stop their wars in Europe to focus their attention on Iran and their attacks. Some historians say that if there was no Iran, Vienna would have fallen on that faithful day, on 1683. Interesting, isn't it? What to us Europeans might seem like some uninteresting and important conflict in Middle East, ended up giving us pause more than once. Man takes wrong turn. By chance an assassin sees him and kills him. WW1 begins. Communism. I've always liked the what if of Bismarck's no colonies approach won over the Kaiser's policy. If that happens the Germany and Britain are allies in WW1 with the US having a large German immigrant population could easily joined on that side. France Britain's traditional adversary could side with France still and they could lose a second war to Germany. WW2 is completely different, Russia is probably creamed in WW1, 
They suffered big defeats at the hands of the Germans but were always seen as not the real threat. Lenin likely stays in a German prison so communism doesn't start governing in Russia. The what ifs don't stop with this one. It's tragic but Ruby Ridge to Waco to OKC bombing. The events that led to World War 1 pretty much fucking everything in Breaking Bad since the beginning of season.